everybody, Matt Brown, and we're going to look at Variate by Nirvana in this one. This one is tuned down a half step, and we're in the key of A. So let's look at the main riff. That's what I was just playing. What we're going to do, at first we're sliding with two string power chords from a G5 to an A5. I'm just going to call everything out as if we're in standard notation, or in standard tuning. Um, so at this first strum of the chord is coming in on your and of four as a pickup note. Then you're sliding up to the A5 and then striking that chord again. All right. Then what you're going to have is a just a muted string and then another muted string. So the second time you're sliding up from a G5 to a B flat 5. So slowly you have That's the, the main riff. After we, we get two bars of that, he's going to change these chords into three note voicings. So the three note voicings, uh, the, starting with the G5, that's three, five, the fourth string is muted, and then you've got um, a fourth fret note on the third string. So that shape is just sliding up two frets for the A, or up another fret for the B flat. Okay. Um, so as far as the lead guitar goes, it's just imitating what the the like rhythm guitar is doing, but with single notes. So like, so there's some variation to it. Uh, you don't have to play it the same every time. In fact, you shouldn't. Um, all you're doing is the A, G, and B flat notes on the 14th, 12th, and 15th frets. So sometimes you might get some vibrato on the downbeat, uh, then like maybe a real fast slide up to fi uh, 15, like a grace note, or sometimes it might be, um, and you might get like a hammer note, hammer on grace note on the downbeat too, like, so, you know, uh, try to switch it up and, and keep it interesting. Okay, so that that pretty much takes us through the bulk of our verse there's a little transitional riff that we'll talk about here next so here's how the next part comes in <laughs> Uh, pretty simple, all we have is like a real fast double strum, 16th notes on your G5 chord, two strings. It's the whole thing. So we're doing a measure of G, um, we're anticipating the F5, we're playing it on the and of four, and then we get that for one, two, into the next measure. Then we're going to come up to a C5 power chord of two strings, so this is three and five root notes on your fifth string, down to a B5, and then two G5s. And then that last G5 um, is going to um, come into our, it slides back into the downbeat of the next A chord. Um, so we have another verse then, we're going to do this little transitional thing. And then the next time, um, instead of doing the verse how we have been, we're going to take the muted notes out. Um, all right, so that's that's how that riff sounds. And like I said, all you're doing is taking out the muted notes and playing it with two string power chords. Um, the other guitar part, let's talk about some of that stuff and what's going on there. Um, over the transitional part, the... What it's doing is... So... Um, just kind of coming down your scale with the natural notes. So from starting with a G, 12th fret, F, 10th fret, 9th fret, D at the 7th fret. So slowly it would be... Alright, um, he might put some like little rhythmic variations on that, like... You know, to keep things more interesting. 
when this part comes around again before the chorus. I, I don't know if it's a mistake um, or he did it intentionally, but he's playing an E flat note instead of the D before it goes back up to um, the and then the which is it's the same thing, but just up an octave higher on your 15th, 17th, and 18th frets. Okay, so let's uh, let's check out how this uh, um, new version of the main riff the. Uh, how that transitions into the chorus. So I'll play that for you. So what we're doing is we're uh, we're playing an A5 power chord twice, just two strings, um, the C5, E flat five. So that's third fret coming up to the sixth fret. Coming up to a G5, uh, where the root's at your 10th fret. So slowly. That's it. And then um, there's a tail at the end where we go. And th these are just two string power chords. Um, so that's a G, hitting that twice. And then coming back up from an F sharp. Uh, the, the lead guitar is doing the same thing in single notes. So that is 14 on your third string, that's an A note, uh, 13 on the next string, C note, 16 is E flat, sliding all the way up to 20 is your G, and then you have the G, F sharp, G, G thing here on the third string, 12, 11, 12, 12. Okay, so that takes care of all of the parts to this song. Um, the next verse is, it's kind of like the second verse. Uh, you don't get like a double verse back to back. And then we're going to, you know, get into a chorus. The last chorus is twice as long. Um, and it ends with uh, just the one end part of the riff where it starts. Um, where he says, you know, into the dirt. All right, so that does it for Variate. If you'd like the tabs or some extra help, you know, uh, email and all of that good stuff. And please subscribe. Uh, I've got plenty more coming. All right, thanks, guys. I'll, I'll see you around for more lessons.